Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the default font in Windows. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we're going to be doing is opening up our Windows bar. We're going to be typing in fonts and we're going to be opening up the font settings app that shows up right here. Now here we're going to see a list of all installed fonts on our Windows right now. So what you want to do from this point is select any font here you would like to use in Windows as your default Windows font. So if you want to download and install any other fonts, that's fine but it needs to show up in this list for this to work. So in my case, the font I want to use in Windows is going to be Roboto. If you want to search, you can use the search bar right here. And we're going to leave it open to the side as we're going to need this in a moment to actually use and set up our font. Here, we're going to open up our Windows search bar again, but this time we're going to be searching for Notepad or you can use any other text editor you want. And what we're going to be doing is copying and pasting this piece of text into our notepad file. And we're going to be putting one more piece of text here at the top, just to say Windows Registry Editor version 5.0. So I'll leave this in the description down below. You can simply copy and paste it from the bottom of this video. And what we're going to be doing is entering the font name you would like to replace for each of these font styles into the two empty brackets right here. So for example, if you want to use the Sergio UI Bold, you can choose any font you would like to replace this with. And we're simply going to be entering the font name here inside this. So for example, I'm going to be coming to my font settings right here. I'm going to be scrolling down to the bottom where it says metadata and I'm going to be selecting bold. And here you can see the font name is roboto-bold.ttf. So all you need to do is enter this string here into the section. Now in this case, capitals shouldn't matter. However, you do need to make sure all characters are exactly the same and you simply need to replace all of the different fonts here with the selected font you would like. So you can actually mix and match fonts here if you would like as well. What we're gonna be doing is going to file, save as, and here we're gonna be selecting any location on your computer where you can remember. In this case, I'm gonna be adding it to my desktop. And here we're gonna be naming the file anything you want. In this case, I'm gonna be naming it font underscore change underscore roboto. And what we need to do is make sure our file is the save as type from a text to all files. And we're gonna be changing the extension from .txt to .reg. So this is all you have to do. So you can name it anything you want as long as it ends in .reg and make sure it's selected to all files. I'm then gonna be saving this onto my desktop. And just like that, you have your font registry file set up. Now at this point, I will also mention there is a revert in this case. I'll be leaving it linked in the description down below. In case anything goes wrong or you've made any mistakes, you can always revert to the original Windows font by creating the exact same thing with a .reg extension named anything you want. I'll be leaving this in the description down below. Once you have your registry file, we can simply double click to run it. Click yes on the pop-up. It'll then get this registry confirmation. Simply click yes. Then you'll get this registry editor complete. Click OK. And from this point, what you need to do is restart your computer and your changes should come into effect. And after a reboot, you can see your font should be updated. Now, depending on the font you use and depending if it had all the extra values, you may see you're missing some symbols. You may want to revert back to the original symbol files for Windows just to make sure everything is correct. However, if I open up my sidebar, you can see all the fonts have been updated. If I search for anything, you can see it's all updated here in the different fonts and styles, which is really cool to see. It is a little bit annoying that you have to create a custom registry file to change this. However, it's just fine and it really works. So it's not too much hassle. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to update your system font in Windows. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal. If you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.